The study of geology is incredibly relevant right now because one of the things that we're seeing is um, a number of uh, very prominent issues that society faces that have come to the forefront in, in both the geological sciences and environmental sciences. We're facing so many challenges with respect to resources, both energy and our, our environmental resources, as well trying to tackle the issue of climate change and how we need to prepare ourselves for uh, consequences of climate change I think is something that's extremely important. The basic need for water, stable land to build on, a knowledge of how the climate's going to change, what physical dangers there are around us, volcanoes, earthquakes, tsunamis, etc. I mean that is all the study of geology and earth science and how we plan to live with this planet matters completely and our future depends on a good knowledge of geology. As we have more and more people living in coastal areas or areas that are not traditionally inhabited, we're seeing that geologic hazards are playing a key role in where we put, where we put people, how society mitigates those hazards, and how we end up dealing with living in areas that are earthquake prone or, or, or hurricane prone or tsunami prone. So the hazards are becoming very important and we need to understand where the hazards are, when they occur, how often they occur, and how they'll affect people in society. We're seeing a mineral resource squeeze on the planet right now, and the mineral resource squeeze is that there's more and more countries that are vying for less and less mineral commodities that are being exploited, unfortunately, at a very rapid rate. So this includes basic commodities, copper and iron and um, zinc and lead and nickel, this all, a whole number of uh, precious, semi-precious and non-precious semi non metals and other, and other minerals that are very important for society and, and quite frankly we're running out and we need trained geosciences scientists to understand where these deposits are, how we find them and ultimately how we can extract them in the most environmentally sensitive way. Energy resources includes traditional hydrocarbons, oil and gas, but also uh, and coal, but also new emerging technologies uh, with respect to alternative energy, uh, including wind power. We need geoscientists and environmental scientists who can understand wind patterns and how wind changes and how a climate may change uh, as we go through, uh, as we experience global climate change. So energy is not just traditional hydrocarbons, it includes new alternative energies and we need uh, earth scientists to be able to work on those problems. Geologists are often tasked with finding more oil reserves, of which there really aren't that many left, or finding alternative sources of energy. So having experience and knowledge of geology is not only a very interesting subject, but it's also very relevant and practical to issues facing our country today. Perhaps the biggest challenge to society right now is global climate change. And global climate change, something that we can measure readily in a number of places around the globe, is one of the key challenges that society faces because we're seeing or we're living in a dynamic changing environment. And we need to understand that environment and how that environment, how those changes will impact us on an annual or decadal or perhaps out even 100 years from now, how those changes will affect our everyday ecosystem, where we live, our rivers and streams, the trees and, and the environment around us. So There's a very important challenge that we, we need to understand and we need to actively monitor.